hi guys welcome welcome back again to my channel today we are back again with another interesting topic if you are just joining me today guys you are very much welcome i want to say thanks to all of my subscribers and if this is your first time here with me please subscribe don't just pass by hit that bell icon that way you're going to be notified whenever i upload new video there are a lot of these subscribers i want to say thank you for subscribing to my channel i really really appreciate that you know guys my channel is all about being informed inspired and motivated simply by boino my name is boino and this is my channel you are most welcome today we have another interesting topic today we are going to talk about the dual citizenship of liberia oh guys there are good news good good news for those of you that are in the diaspora those people that have been living out of liberia for a very very long time and are citizen and want to go back home but still want to maintain their citizenship and also want to partake in the activities of liberia there is good news and this good news has just come about so so today we are going to talk about it so without wasting much of your time guys let's get straight into our topic <laughs> okay guys liberia we know it's on the west coast of africa it's bounded by sierra leone guinea in africa and the atlantic ocean there was a 1973 ban on dual citizenship dual nationality that is a country you cannot be citizen for a country and then you also be citizen for liberia no it was never working it was not part of liberia for a very long time since 1973 they passed that law they banned dual citizenship and so there were nobody having dual citizenship if you have to go liberia to partake in any activity government activity or whatsoever you have to deny your citizenship because it was not working working in Liberia. But there's a good news, something that just happened a few days that now that law that bound dual citizenship, dual nationality in Liberia, it has been lifted up. And thanks to those that are in the diaspora, those people that are in the foreign land that have citizens in those foreign countries, they're like, oh no, we cannot sit there and discontinue because we in this foreign land and we are citizen and we still want to be citizen in our country. Even though when they accept the citizen of the country, they deny their birth country. But yet and still, they still go back to home they still accept their home because you know guys there is nowhere like home and so back home being back home is a wonderful thing and they have been going back when they have seen development and they also want to partake in development they want to partake in the progress of Liberia they want to partake in the in the activities of Liberia. They want to partake in the growth of Liberia and and the, the, and how Liberia is getting the power about towards the future. So they want to be a part of it. But there was something that was stopping them from being a part of Liberia that is taking Liberia back as their own country again. So they were just like a floor member going to their country and just going and coming. But they were not being partakers in the decision making in Liberia. So they fought so hard, they tried so hard, and finally they have succeeded. So this is the good news that we have for you guys. <laughs> And this law, this wonderful law that has been traveling for some time, it has finally been passed by the president of Liberia, the fourth border president, Josh Oponwea. He passed the law just those few days that people can hold on to their nationality. They can be national for another country and they can also be national for their birth country, which is Liberia. Yes, another important part of this law and allow individuals to claim Liberian citizenship through their mothers. you see that? So if your mother is a Liberian, no matter where you were born, you are a Liberian. You can still claim that citizenship. You can say, stay say that you are a national from Liberia. You are proudly from Liberia. Yeah. And this law, this law, it, 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 it will pass. It was, it was, it came to being, yeah. It came into being through the, the effort 
the high effort of those people that are in Europe and in the Americas. Those people, because of their nationality of where they are, they are citizens of that country, and they also want to maintain their nationality to their mother's land, to their homeland where they come from, so they campaign for it, and they fought so hard for it, and they had to go from meeting to meeting, from discussion to discussion, meeting with the president, and so finally, it came to pass. So those people that are in the foreign land, in America, in Europe, those people were the ones that had to, to push this. Because you know, Liberian people, they're already in Liberia. If you're already in Liberia, you're in another country to have uh, another citizenship. What would what, what be your, 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 your problem in wanting to, 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 nash, to, to have dual citizenship for it to be a, a, a law? You don't care about that, but those people that are in the foreign land, they're like, oh no, we need this. And so they can't pay for it. They work so hard for it. They, 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 they sat down, they discuss it, they, they, they look into it, they, 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 they look into the, the the merits and the demerits of this whole thing and they put it forth before the president and the president of Liberia being someone who have traveled extensively and have had exposure and know the importance of dual citizenship of somebody being in another country and want to come back to their country but still want to maintain their citizenship from where they come from he understood that and he put that into action and this president the president of Liberia his wife is a Jamaican and his son played football in America. So you see, his wife who is a Jamaican, I'm sure she being a Jamaican, she, she's a Jamaican national and coming to Liberia, she too wants to claim citizenship of Liberia to have that dual citizenship and also with his son. His son is an American and he will also want to be part of his fatherland where, where his father comes from. So all of these play a major role in the, the president signing to this law of dual citizenship in the country. But back then, back in the days, before this, this law came about in 19, 1973, what was the situation? Why did they pass that law to ban uh, dual citizenship? Because they did not want people that are not black, not black people to, to become national in Liberia. That's why they banned dual citizenship. Yeah, because if they were accepting it, as now they have accepted it, it's not only for those Liberians that are in the diaspora with this law part. There are so many reason that this law was banned but now that it has been passed we, we 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 are getting to know the reason of why they passed this law oh the the does this ban that was that that was in place since 1973 it automatically made those liberians that got citizenship from other country to 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 do away with their citizenship in their mother's land, Liberia, where they come from. So if you are in America and you become an American citizen, you automatically not a Liberian citizen anymore. So this is some of the reason why the people will push this. This they they, they, they had to kick against this ban because they be like, why? I, if I get citizen for this country and then you tell me say I'm not citizen for my motherland, why? So they had to kick against this. So, so this ban was stopping people who have already gotten citizenship from another country of not being a citizen of Liberia. That is, you are a stranger, you are a visitor in Liberia, but you are not a citizen. If you obtain citizenship from other country, automatically Liberia is not your country anymore. You are a visitor there. And this law was passed because... When they passed the law, they said they didn't want non-black people to become um, citizens of Liberia. So if they don't want non-black people to become citizens of Liberia, which means they don't want white people to become citizens of Liberia. They don't want all the national to become citizens of Liberia. And the president said that this law was a racist law. Because how can you say you, don't want, you, don't, you only want black people, you don't want white people in the country to become citizens of Liberia. So he vi revisited that law. They looked into that law. They saw some of the things in that law that was not right because number one it was a racist law because of those people that were free from slavery that came to liberia and that were ruling liberia at that time they were the one that passed that law that they didn't want any white people to come into the country to become citizen because they only wanted for the country to be a black country and that was not 
Right, coming to this modern time that we are in considering racism, that we all are one, despite our color and nationality, the president said, no, it can be. We have to stop this. In 2019, a Supreme Court judgment held that be a dual citizenship, it has to go through trials because there was a law that there was a ban, there was a law that was passed. So you cannot say that you 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 cancel that law just like that. It have to go through court. It have to go through trials. So notwithstanding, they can still hold their dual citizenship, but there will still be a trial for that. They will still be holding that, but it will still be challenged in court. It will still have to go to court. So while Liberians are celebrating they should also prepare to challenge this law in the supreme court because it was binding and so it have to be it have to go through trials notwithstanding even though this law had just been passed but secretly, there were people that had dual citizenship. There were people that had passport for the foreign land and had passport for Liberia. So when they come into Liberia, they use Liberia passport. When they go into the foreign land, they use the foreign land passport. They were still doing it undercover, but now they advocated for it to be in the open. They don't want to hide that their country. They don't want to be hiding coming to their country or be, nine, be denying their own country. They want to have that right to their country. So it is a good thing that this Lord has been and pass even though it have to be challenged in the supreme court but till that time can come there is a dual citizenship standing in liberia so you can be citizen or national for another country and also be a national for your country liberia so guys this is the good news that was just passed on to by the president of Liberia. So I'm going to stop here today, guys. I hope I make sense. So let's talk about this, guys. Leave me a comment in the comment section. Let's talk more about this. If you have any more knowledge, especially knowledge about the challenge of this in court, about the legal affairs, some of my legal people, then yeah, you us talk about this. Let's talk about this law. Let's, let, let. <laughs> I'm not a legal person, but y'all give us some idea about this law, okay? I'm going to stop here today, guys. Thank you for viewing my channel. Please, you are free to leave me your comment in the comment section and hit that bell icon. Give me the thumbs up if you like this video, guys. I'll see you there. I'll see you on my next video. Have a good day. I love you guys. Stay safe. Bye-bye.